Big Z Reviews. Vengeance is a new um, indie uh, drama that uh, just came out recently. I think it's actually within theaters and I saw it and I actually just hit streaming as well. But um, it's from it's written, directed, and starring B.J. Novak from The Office. And I really enjoyed it. Evelyn just didn't die. She was murdered. What? And the two of us are going to avenge her death. So as like a personal boundary, I don't avenge deaths. But here's what I can do. I'm going to record everything that you think happened to Abilene. And we'll put it on a podcast and we'll see where it leads. What evidence does he have that it was a murder? Nothing. So first off, I will say this movie is a little pretentious. But I mean, what you're going to do when you have one person uh, writing, directing, and starring in it is bound to be a little pretentious. But um, it's also another piece of media about making a piece of media, which is um, it's about like making a podcast. And so like we have this and we have, you know, murder, murder in the building and um, only murders in the building, whatever. But like, um, it's definitely, I'm not sure if podcasts have, have uh, I, don't know, I don't know how popular they're anymore. For me personally, I only like podcasts I watch are like on YouTube and actually, I actually like looking at the people. There's like this Always Sunny in Philadelphia podcast and uh, the H3 podcast. Yes, yeah, Ethan Klein. I like, guess pretty much the only podcast I watch or listen to or whatever. But, like I mean, I, before I, I've watched some, but I never, really, I can never really get into them that much. But essentially, this one is about uh, Ben Menelowitz as uh, from playing by uh, B J Novak, and he is kind of like um, a player in New York. Like he's an author and a writer for the New Yorker. But he's also just hooks up with a bunch of random women, and in the beginning he's with that uh, he he's hanging out with John Mayer. Although I don't think he's actually John Mayer, but he's hanging out with him and just talking about all the going through the phone and all different women and about like how about how their their lifestyles. But then of course like he he goes home with a woman and he wakes up to a call from the brother of one of the girls who hooked up with. And it's that she died from an, an overdose, and that she he thinks that there were like boyfriend and girlfriend, not just um, ho- people that hooked up together. And he wants them to come to the to you know the funeral, and he he goes. But then this this guy is Ty Shaw, played by Boyd uh, Holbrook, Holbrook, and um, he he believes that she was murdered. That, that and he wants to he wants to. Um, have him have uh, B.J. Novak get vengeance with him against her killers. And, you know, it kind of, he, like, then decides, wait, I could make a podcast out of this called Dead White Girl. And about how, like, the, like about, like, uh, you know, how people c- tell stories to themselves to try to comfort themselves that it wasn't, you know, their fault. It wasn't that, you know, she was an addict and... And, but then, like, they start, he starts to investigate and thinks, well, this was kind of weird. Like, this happened at this party, like, the after party of this party, this area where, like, four different districts kind of converge, so none of the police really investigate anything. And she was like, there are multiple footprints there, so, like, and so it sounds like, you know, maybe something weird did happen. And he convinces, like, his a friend that's, uh, that runs a podcast company, played by Ethan Ray, to, you know, help him put out a podcast. And he kind of, like, it's interesting because, you know, he's kind of an asshole. But, like, and, he, and the family is very, te- like, they're from Texas. And they're very Texas. But, like, and uh, he's kind of, like, making fun of them. But he also kind of falls in love with them because they're good people, even though they're weird. And the whole, like, the whole, the whole family is this, like, a bunch of characters, you know, is with, um, there's, uh, Dove Cameron as Kansas City Shaw, is, um, uh, Isabella Am- Amara as Paris Shaw, and then the, the mom, uh, J. Smith Cameron, uh, Sharon Saw, and there's, there's, like, the son, um, Eli El Stupido Shaw, and, uh, then the, the dead girl is, uh, played by Leo Tup- Tipton by Abilene Shaw. And then you also have, like, she was a musician, and she was recording music, and, like, he, she would send it to him, he would, didn't listen to it, so he, he kind of falls in love with the dead girl, too, and this, interesting because he talks up with Ash, Ashton Kutcher, who's played by, a, it's playing a Quentin Sellers, who's, like, um, a producer, 
and he's trying to like give all these young kids like make their sound and sh- show their sound to the world and like there's he, it's it's really kind of interesting how how the movie develops because like you know he's kind of like they they don't they know he's making a podcast but they don't know it's called Dead White Girl and they don't know that they're he's kind of making fun of them at times a little bit but I mean, he starts to really feel for them and then you start getting more and more like things that like you know maybe this is weird that the stuff's going on here where she might have been murdered and people may start coming after him but it's also just a slice of life like be a new yorker being in texas like he's so out of place there's like a lot of funny there's a, lo- there's a lot of funny stuff it's like surprisingly comedic like even though it's a drama and it's like and and like there there's one thing though i would say like towards the end i'm not going to spoil it but i kind of want to bring up a new a new like film theory where like if you ever heard of Chekhov's gun, it's that like if a gun is introduced in like the first act, it has to be used by the third act or something like that. Like it has to if you bring if some if you if you show someone having a gun, you have to have a reason for the gun. And I feel I I want to do a new one where if a character brings up the concept of Chekhov's gun, you have to then use Chekhov's gun in the third act. Like and because this they bring up Chekhov's gun and then they they do Chekhov's gun in a certain way toward at the end, and uh, I it's really interesting and I, and I I really like it but like at the same time I I don't spoil it again but like at the very end like he he's kind of like he's second guessing like what he's doing you know like because he's kind of like using these people, but he does something with the podcast where. It, that would, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't work. Like, I I, I want to talk about it without spoiling it, but kind of like uh, the way it, it what he does, it matters that Is- Issa Rae would definitely have prevented that from happening. I'll just say, you know, that's that's how I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it um uh as as mentioning it. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Like that, the, the way the movie ends wouldn't happen. But you know it's it's fine. It, it gives it, it makes sense for them to do that, you know. But as a whole, I just I really enjoyed this, and I I hope that B.J. Novak keeps making movies because this is really interesting. You know, I I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, like I said, it's definitely a little pretentious, but it's funny. It's it's smart. It's it's really well crafted. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I probably give like an eight point seven five out of ten, maybe even a nine out of ten. I don't know. I really did enjoy it. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.